I'm going to take a step back from the weather for a moment, get ready for the weekend, and talk to our good friend Andrew Fazekas, the night sky guy, joining us on the line from Montreal, Quebec. Good day to you, sir. Hi, guys. Hi, Andrew. How are things? Uh, doing well. Just did a great hiking trip in the Adirondacks, Ooh. and I've got sore muscles everywhere. Was it cold at nighttime? No, it was. It was. It was. Yeah, it got really chilly. Yeah. But I mean, during the day, it was just awesome. Yeah. Well, for those that might be camping this weekend, I know there's going to be some clouds rolling in. Let's not let that get in the way of what people might be able to see in the night sky. Whether they're in the Adirondacks, whether they're in metropolitan Montreal or across this country, what can we expect to see? Well, I think uh, I've got this week something that's very elusive. It's a ghostly glow we call the zodiac lights. Not many people have heard of it. Sometimes it's called the false dawn. And you may have uh, uh, sort of attributed what you might have seen in the early morning uh, before sunrise. If you look towards the east, this ghostly glow, you may have attributed to some kind of like a twilight, some kind of atmospheric effect. It looks like a cone of light, like a pyramid of haze that comes up just where the sun rises, about a half hour before the, the sun p pops up above the horizon. This is actually coming from space, and what you're seeing is a cloud of dust that hangs around between the planets. And this is called the zodiacal dust cloud. And it's made up of literally countless bits and pieces of leftover debris uh, since the formation of the solar system. And so the entire plane of the solar system is extremely dusty. So if you're allergic to dust, it's not a good place to be. <laughs> so I'm telling you. So, so what you're seeing uh, is this dust uh, reflecting the sunlight. And it only happens twice a year for a couple of weeks. And we're just heading into that time where in the early morning hours you can see this cone of light caused by the zodiacal light. So it's, uh, you just have to get up, look towards the east. You've got to be in a dark location away from the city. So if you're camping, that's a great, uh, great chance to, to do it if you're outdoors. All right. Oh, that's All right. pretty cool. Okay, Andrew, now I took a peek at our Cosmic Quiz. And it looks pretty entertaining today. I like pretty it. And I, I asked today. I asked Chris beforehand. He, he doesn't know the answer. I'm telling you that now so he doesn't make some sort of guess. <laughs> well, this did make headlines earlier this year. But here's the question. Which rock guitarist earned his Ph.D. studying the zodiacal lights we just talked about? Could it have been A, Eddie Van Halen from Van Halen, <laughs> B, Brian May from Queen, or how about Joe Perry from Aerosmith? That is interesting, and seeing as how I just found out about the zodiacal lights, I have no idea, but I am interested to find out, so don't go anywhere. Let's get to, to Space News, and, and then we'll come back and find out the big answer. Yeah, well, this week, uh, you know, if you're in, you know, the, the TV show Survivor just started. I love it. I watched it last night. Oh, my well, we this, is the, this, is a, this is a real Survivor story uh, uh, talking about Mars. Uh, this is the Mars tribe has basically spoken. Uh, a bunch of uh, scientists and engineers at NASA have been searching far and wide for a new landing site for the upcoming Mega Mars rover mission. You can see a, a little animation here. This is a giant uh, rover. It's not like your mother's rover. This is a, uh, the size of a car. It's huge, and it's going to be uh, blasting off next year, arriving on October 2010 on the Red Planet. And the scientists have now narrowed down to seven landing sites. You can see them marked in white. Each of these sites is interesting to scientists because they have the potential for holding life, evidence of life. That's what we're looking for on Mars. So they've picked out seven sites. The Mars tribe uh, has basically uh, narrowed it down to seven, and the final cut is going to happen in April, so stay tuned. All right. You know what? Because we're running out of time, I do want to get the, to the end of the, uh, I want to get back to the answer. The Cosmic Quiz question today was, which rock guitarist earned his Ph.D. studying zodiacal lights? It was either Eddie Van Halen, Brian May, or Joe Perry of Aerosmith. What's our answer? The answer is Brian May. I knew it. After a 30-year break from his studies <laughs> playing guitar with Queen, he went back and finished his doctoral thesis earlier this year. Amazing. See, Chris, I knew all that. I bet you did. I, I bet did. you Brian May was studying the zodiacal lights back when he was <laughs> hanging with Jim Morrison, too, but under <laughs> different conditions. Thanks so much, Andrew. If you want more information on anything we talked about today, just head to his website, thenightskyguy.com.